mycotoxins, odorless, invisible, dangerous, and the subject of one of my favorite shows. This is the Mycotoxin Minute. As we mentioned in our last episode, the cell wall is the plant's chief defense against mycotoxin-producing molds. We learned that molds can be opportunistic and sometimes wait for insects or weather phenomena to damage the cell wall so they can enter the plant. What we didn't learn is that some molds often hitch a ride with certain insects who are themselves parasites of the host plant. Aspergillus flavus is just one such mold. Its preferred mode of transportation is the sap beetle some species of which have a voracious appetite for corn and other crops. Aspergillus flavus and Aspergillus parasiticus, of course, are the main producers of aflatoxins. So now that we know a little more about how Aspergillus gets into corn, let's have a look at aflatoxin occurrence in this commodity in North America. Over the last six months, we have analyzed nearly 500 samples of corn from Canada, the U.S. and Mexico. 7.4% were above the LOD. 3.2% tested above 20 ppb. This is the threshold in the U.S. for aflatoxin in food for human consumption. And one final important threshold here. Only 0.8% tested above the 100 ppb threshold. This is the limit for corn products intended for livestock animals such as breeding beef cattle, breeding swine, and mature poultry. With numbers this good, you have to wonder whether the sap beetles of North America are on vacation. That's all we have for now. We'll see you soon.